A two year long investigation and all of the pages you see spread out along the table here is a very small part of the findings. In a nearly 5,000 page report, the investigation found allegations of bullying and altered crime statistics within the department to be true, all to make Buckeye look like a better place to live. What's happened on the streets of Buckeye came under fire by its own officials after a group of anonymous officers sent a letter to the city of Buckeye in 2017 claiming leaders in the department were intentionally changing crime statistics and creating a hostile work environment. The report found eight of the listed allegations to be true, focused around Police Chief Larry Hall, Sergeant James Vertigamo, and Lieutenant Charles Arlack. According to the documents, Vergadamo belittled and patronized his subordinates and fellow sergeants for several years and altered crime statistics in police reports to artificially lower crime rates and reduce the number of robberies, rapes, and aggravated assaults. The report says the first red flag was comparing recorded numbers in 2013 to 2014, where even though the city grew in population, violent crimes decreased nearly 41 percent, robberies decreased by nearly 49 percent, and aggravated assaults by 43 percent. The report says that downward trend continued into 2017. Several witness interviews listed in the report mentioned Vergadamo told them he changed the report codes so the city didn't look bad and his own home value didn't go down. The report says Chief Larry Hall and Lieutenant Charles Arlack knew about these altered crime stats but did nothing to fix them or make them right. The investigation findings also say Chief Hall acted inappropriately at a crime scene by taking a picture of the victim of a car crash, a naked male crossdresser wearing high heels, for his own entertainment to show his wife. The report says the picture wasn't taken for a legitimate law enforcement purpose. Hi, Rick Larry Hall with the city of Buckeye. We called Chief Hall to get his response to the final report, but did not hear back. Now, the city of Buckeye says they've taken all the actions to correct what happened. They've corrected the crime stats for 2016 and 2017. Chief Hall served a 40 hour suspension back in November. Lieutenant Arlack served a 20 hour suspension and Sergeant Vergadamo resigned in lieu of being fired. But even though most of these findings happened while Hall was chief, the city says they feel he served his consequences and they have full confidence in him continuing to lead the department. Guys, back to you. And of course, our request for an interview from Buckeye still stands tonight. Brianna, thank you very much.